guys, it's Fonce. Welcome to week 111 of the General Monday series. I'm working in my altered book today and I've glued two pages together on each side. And as I want to keep the background as it is, but I want to protect the paper at the same time, I'm applying a nice coat of clear gesso from the Fenivar products. I'm also applying a strip of masking tape in the middle, as I know that I will work, be working with a lot of water and I don't want to colorize the rest of my book as well. Once this is dry, I can start and play with some color and I want to use these silks, which are acrylic glazes from Color Art. I'm first applying some water and then adding light touches of color. I really want to keep this very, very soft, um, really in the background. And I'm mixing up two colors. If you would like to know all the exact names of the colors that I'm using, please check out my blog, where I have a complete list of ingredients for each Journal on Monday video. And you can find those under the Inspiration tab together with the link to my old blog, as well as all the free tutorials that I have online. For the top of my spread, I'm using the silks without water first, so I'm just applying uh, the paint directly on the paper, because I want to create some drip drippage, so I'm adding water afterwards. And then, of course, drying it again. For the bottom of the spread, I want to add 3D gloss gel on top of this stencil, which is the Honeycomb by Fenivar. I want to create a resist for the next layer that I will be applying. So I'm leaving that aside to dry and me meanwhile I'm preparing my focal element which is a photo of my, a couple of my aunts and uncles um, before my dad was even born. And I'm just combining some elements um, like this piece of paper or this piece of burlap. And I'm not measuring, I'm using uh, the lines on my cutting mat to make sure that I have a square. So I'm taking it apart because I want my burlap to fray a bit more, which won't happen if I leave that paper and stick to it. I also want to use this little ticket, which is brand new as you can see, but I don't want to use it that way. So first I'm colorizing it using um, Color Art Radiant Rain, and I'm stamping my splattered mug using this mixed media inks from Donna Salazar. And then I'm cutting um, the sides of my uh, ticket because it's too large and I want it to be thinner. Adding a tiny bit of distress ink on the edges. And then using a baby wipe to very softly blend it. Now I also want to add some colors to my um, burlap. So I'm spraying with the Radiant Rain again from Color Art. And as I also want to add very dark touches I'm using this almost black silk that I'm diluting with water and then just adding um, some um, touches to the sides. Of course I need some rusted metal, which I'm applying on this little tag using my big bite. And then I can start gluing everything together. And to do so, I'm using my soft matte gel that I'm that I placed in this uh, precision tip bottle. Thank you. 
I'm often asked, that's why I'm showing it, I'm often asked if I don't have any problems with my precision bottle getting clogged or anything. This one has two tips, two metal tips, um, and one um, goes inside the other one, so it prevents the bottle from clogging. And then I added some sewing. Now I do use a lot of construction waste. This, this is real construction waste. I haven't been rusting this one. But as you can see, it takes some work to make it usable. So if you've taken a class with me and you have been working with construction waste, your piece has been handled this way. So first I straighten it out and then using a file, I make the edges less dangerous because those have been cut with metal scissors. And I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt while going through my journal or while using the embellishment I gave them for the workshop. Some more uh, silks and I'm using soft matte gel to it to make it a bit more fluid. I want to create a very 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 soft color um, on the bottom of my spread. So first I'm applying it using a paintbrush and then I will add some water to make it drip in the other direction. But as you can see, it's too thin and too diluted. It leaves a very, very, very soft shine, but it's too soft. So I need to go at it a different way. So I'm using um, primary elements to add some more color to my mixture. And I'm doing the same thing all over, adding it with my paintbrush to the edge of my spread and then spraying some water again. And this time it will work just fine. camera doesn't pick it up but I just wanted it to um, grip around the 3D gloss gel to accentuate the texture of that. I didn't really want it to add color as such to the spread. And having that bit of copper, that very shiny copper at the bottom of the page will make a nice finishing touch once dried. Adding some stamping using a Finovar stamp. And then also some stamping on the other side using the same mixed media inks from Donna Salazar. And I really liked how that yellow popped from the background. At first I thought I wanted to have the text on the right side, but I changed my mind once it was finished and ready to use. I also added some sewing, which you will not see in the video because my camera is in the way. This is again that almost black silk that I diluted with water to add splatters. And yes, my right hand was dancing to music. In case you were wondering, I have Bach going very, very loudly in my studio while I take this. And some more stamping, not enough. So now I can start gluing down all my elements. And yes, I glue everything down using the soft matte gel. So even that strip of metal is going down using soft matte gel. The only requirement is to give it time to do its job and to adhere to the paper. So once I've glued everything down, I put some weight on it. And yes, the white heavy gesso is very handy for that. And then I just step away and leave it alone to dry. I'm adding some rub-on on the other side. And I don't know why my camera decided everything should be orange just for this piece of um, video because it will turn back to normal in a moment. And I'm using this rub-on to help uh, the eye know where it where I want it to look 
which is the other spread, but I did want to leave a lot of the background visible. Accentuating the edges with some distress ink. And there my camera changed. <laughs> if, you, if you can tell me why my camera is doing this, please let me know. Um, I added some more stamping using my design cube at the top um, and archival ink and now I'm adding some touches of soft matte gel because I also want to add some glitter to my spread. Just some very light touches and the glitter I'm using is has the same colors as the background, a bit of copper and a, a bit of um, purple and then taking the excess away. That's about it for today. If you liked today's video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I hope I'll see you on my blog as well to check out the list of ingredients. Have a happy week, everyone. And see you back next time. Ta-da!